Hello all, welcome back to my channel. In my today's video, I would like to share the tips I follow to manage my time efficiently. As a woman, I have always felt the pressure of taking responsibility and to balance both my personal life and work life. And we tend to forget to take or to allocate some special time for ourselves. I strongly believe in this point, you can't pour from an empty cup. So only when we take care of ourselves, we'll be able to serve others and our surroundings. Few months before, I wanted to include a workout routine in my daily life, but I, f I always gave a reason that I was not able to find time. I took paper and a pen to record my current schedule and to know what are the things I do from the moment I wake up till I go to bed so that I can find where I am wasting my time and what are the ways to improve it. I noted each and every single task that I did. So my daily schedule was like waking up, preparing breakfast and lunch, sending kids to school, then I have a one and a half hours of uh, drive from my home to work and then eight hours at office and then again one and a half hours to two hours drive back to home. Then the moment I reach, I sit with kids to make their homework and to make them study. Then I go prepare dinner and finally making bed and putting them to sleep. So at the end of the day, I had no time for me, So which was wrong. No time was the best excuse I was giving myself to skip workout. So the previous task helped me to realize unless I take control of my day, I will not able to manage my time. It also helped me to realize that I was overloaded and I was not able to do everything and on my own. Though it is our duty to do all these, it is always good to get help from others. And that was my approach. I requested my husband and I requested him to sit with kids for homework. Earlier, I was managing both the kids and I was finding it very difficult to make them sit and it took around one hour. Later, when he accepted my request and we both are able to make them sit and from one hour we were able to squeeze a half an hour, squeeze it to half an hour. So the remaining half an hour I was able to use that for my workout time and I was really very glad that I am able to hit my gym and able to focus on my health. This exercise really helped me a lot and it also helped me to avoid the repetitive work which I was doing. Like there are few things which we can do it efficiently and we can avoid it consuming most of our time. And I also believe that these are not a big or major task few things which we can tweak like keeping home organized, making bed the moment we get up and cleaning utensils then and there, cleaning the vegetable peel then and there. It all helps us to find some 5 minutes of time, to save some 5 minutes of time. So by doing each and everything organized, we will definitely find it easier to manage our time. So I was very happy that I was able to hit gym from 9 to 9.30 and I was able to focus on my health. Knowing how to set priorities is a very important factor in time management. It is equally important that we set health as one of our priority. Most of the ladies find it difficult because we never delegate the work. We take all on our shoulders and we grip that we don't have time. So my kids take timetable for the next day and my hubby helps 
to homework and my in-laws helps to manage kids at the free time so this is how i delegated few of my tasks to other members in the family i hope this video will give you an insight of how i manage my time efficiently and how i find time for myself thanks for watching my video please like share and subscribe to my channel